Hello, hello, welcome back to TR3B channel live on YouTube. Today we've got another amazing video for you and it is about how to find, unlock and to get lots of rare plans for free. Really easy. Take a look at this. Now first up we've got here, we've got the Rangers District Office. Now this is a very hard plan to spawn in. It's about 1 in 20 chance. I think it's even higher than that. It might be 1 in 30 chance of getting this plan to spawn in. But I managed to do it. I recorded it and there it is. Don't forget all these plans are subject to change. They're not always going to be the same. Here we've got the light combat arms. It could be anything. Any of the rare plans, there's a quite a few of them, will spawn at all these locations I'm showing you. But this one, this video there, and this next clip here, the K-Max transmission place. This is another crazy hard spawn. It only does it one in thirty chances. Believe me, I come here so lot, so many times, try and get this plan, and it's never here. But I got it. I found it today. I recorded it. I shoved it on. Here it is. Another rare plan. There's always going to be lots of high-end enemies here, trying to tear you up. But there it is. That. Um, but remember, very important, these plans always change. Always going to be rare, but they're always going to change. So not necessarily going to be the same for you when you go here. But do give it a go. Now, next video is a little bit easier. These ones spawn in about one in three chance. The flooded rail yard, or train yard, whatever it's called. This is usually here every time. Don't forget, these more common spawn places will take about 48 hours sometimes to spawn back in so grab it then check back in two days time and it should be there again another little trick is if it's not the plan that you want don't pick it up serve a hop come back and it will change keep in mind one in three chance that will spawn in serve a hop again if it's not there go back and the plan would have changed and you pick up the one you want always oh, going to be rare i can't em emphasize that enough these are rare plans come here get them grab them if you already know them, stick them in your vendors. There's a lot of low-level players at the moment that really want these uh, plans. And uh, you can sell them for quite a bit of dosh. This location as well was quite hard to get it to spawn in. It's about 1 in 5, maybe 1 in 10. As was this one. Like I said, most of these locations do have some horrible enemies here you need to mow down before you collect them obviously i've done that then recorded it got gone back so the enemies aren't there so make it nice and easy rare plan that one that the robots also very rare you need that for one of your possum badges now this is a very interesting one this one is uh it's the only plan that's guaranteed to be there and it's only gonna be one plan spawns in one location here but you need a key code to get in there don't forget this this is the key code now you can glitch through this door if you don't know the code or can't be bothered to put it in you can do the camera trick to go through the door or the power armor glitch to glitch through the door but if you know the code nice and easy bada bing bada boom there it is just there very rare plan very expensive and only spawns there on the map, nowhere else. Have some of that. There's nothing else really in this room. A lock on the door is just, I don't, even for, don't think it's for a quest. This room is just to hide that plan. The rail yard always spawns some nasties, but I'll give them a good clear out. Before I recorded, then found this plan in the shed there. Another good one. Thank you very much. Right up next, you might be familiar with this one. It's quite a popular place. C2 drop sites full of water. But there will be a few decent things here to grab, including this is a magazine spawn as well. That's usually on that table I just walked past. And you can shoot that into the water and sometimes do your magazine glitch as well. But on there, look on the shelf, is another rare plan. Lovely jubbly. A few bits there worth picking up. But that table there, right in front of me there, look, is a, a magazine. And you can use that to do the old magazine glitch trick. So a decent place to come and try out and do that. Give it a go. 
Up next, my favourite place, Harper's Ferry. Now, there's two locations at this place. One here I'm showing you, where the plan did spawn in. But there's another place, just above me, where I'm now, in the same building, just above me. In another display unit, there used to be um, a robot plan used to spawn in, which is really good for the possum badges. But now, honestly, I've done it about a hundred times, it doesn't spawn anymore. So things are changing in this game. Be warned. But this um, video I did film within a week, it's taken me a while to stick it all together. So the plans you do see here should be here when you do it. Don't forget I'm on PS4, but I'm pretty sure it's all the same for all three consoles. Another decent plan there. Look. This is a very good place to come collectively because there's about three or four um, plans, mods, there's bits of armour, there's weapons, just in this one place. It's a very good place to come. And it's not heavily guarded for you low level players. All the bodies there have got grenades on them. There's ammo, there's even a few recipes. There we are, look. So it's a really good place to come. If you're after a safe, cheap marketplace to get hold of legacy weapons, legacy items, or anything that's hard to find in Fallout 76, then check out website EasyMPC. Use code TR3B to get 5% off. Links in the description. Let me see that on my screen. The rain has glitched out. It's sort of frozen. I've got frozen rain on my screen. You gotta love this game, ain't you? You gotta love it. Another recipe there. There's a weird one. You've got a plan. Is it just there? Yeah, on the table. And there's one that spawns usually under the table to my left, but it wasn't there. So there's two plans here. One there, and one under my table just there. I have a look at it. It's not there. It uses a plan there, but wasn't there this time. So keep them peeled for that one. Now, this location is another brilliant place collectively for loads of mods and plans. You're in this building here, you're on the table there. This one isn't so rare, I'll give you that, but um, like I said, it always changes. This is just the, what, the picnic table, isn't it? Did I see the picnic? Yeah, the picnic table. So There's nothing really a rare one, that one, but take a look in the same building in a minute. There are some rare ones, but I thought I'd just shove that one in. Now the same building, go upstairs, along the hill, and then downstairs. Where the old vendor bot is, but right next to him, where he spawns, on the shelf, you'll see this. Always a decent, rare plan there. Lots of goodies to pick up Don't in this room as well. That one this time yeah. is a submachine gun. Thank you very much. There's even a perfectly preserved pie machine down there. Now, I don't know about you, but when I do the old uh, pie machines, I always find it a lot success uh, more successful if I spam the button. I don't know if you, you uh, found that out, but it's a little bit more successful for me. Spamming the button to get the perfectly preserved pie. Another good place here, just outside where we were. Some decent plans spawn here. You should check all the way round um, top of the world because um, a lot of plans, mods and bits and pieces do spawn in here. Oh, I did it, didn't find anything, just found these bits here, so I just recorded this bit. But do check all the way around this area, it's really good for loot and plans. Now, these next videos, a little bit different, these are rare items that spawn at vendors. Now, White Springs is particularly brilliant for rare plans. Take a look at this. I've been playing this game for over a year now. I've only just got the Nixie Lamp. There it is, look. Hence, it says no next to it. But I swear down here, I've only just found that. So it's worth coming here, checking out every time all these vendors down in this place because you get the um, what's it called Eatatronic you get the um, bathrobe here and everything it's a brilliant place that's White Springs here is the Enclave Bunker you need to do the Bunker Buster missions to get in here this also has rare vending machines in the shape of Modus if you don't know about it 
come down here. Yeah, it's got loads of brilliant stuff. You can get all the X01 mods for your power armor. He sells the scout armor mods. The only place you can get them in the game is down here. But take a look at what else he's got. He's got loads of stuff. Look, it's brilliant. Always come down there. Like I said, I've been playing this game for over a year now, and I come down into this uh, bunker. I still get lost. It's so confusing. I know I'm a bit silly, but I find it really difficult navigating around this massive vault bunker, what you want to call it. It's really annoying. <clears throat> if you just run around like a headless chicken that like I do here, you will come across some more vending machines in the shape of motor spot. Somewhere. Bear with me. No, I think we cut it there. We'll try again. <laughs> right, this is where you get the serums. <clears throat> this is right down the bottom. You'll find it eventually, I'm sure. But if you're thinking of buying these serum recipes, make sure you have got the um, perk card on. I can't remember what it's called. The it big sale or something. It's in the charisma section. And um, you will get about. 20% of that massive ridiculous price. 17,000 caps each. That's like the pay I did to get all the recipes for the serums. Now this is a good one. This is where you get the, uh, what's it called? Scout armor. Mods. Only place in the old map to get them. It's here in the mod section. And they're really worth getting. I do like my scout armor. Especially now you get the Gilet skin on it. It's brilliant. Love it. Just there, look. And there's so many mods from, and it's a lot cheaper than the SS armor and all that you have to pay gold bullion for. Obviously, it's just in caps. So if you're a bit flush, you're a bit rich, come and stock up on them. You've got every mod going for your scout armor. Brilliant, love it. Oh yeah, and a few bits there look, for your X01 power armor as well. Love it. Right, this is a little bonus video for getting to the end. This is how you get the combat armor helmet. I really struggle with this. It's here on the map, Harbour's Ferry. Spawns in about 1 in 20 times. Not going to be every time, but it's on that chair just there, look. Alright? And that is it, people. Thanks for watching. There it is, look at that. Very rare. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon in the wasteland. And bye for now. If you're after a safe, cheap marketplace to get a hold of legacy weapons, legacy items, or anything that's hard to find in Fallout 76, then check out website EasyMPC. Use code TR3B to get 5% off. Links in the description.